Hello everyone, Dolphin Oracle here again tonight. One more live USB feature for you. This one is relatively new. It actually debuted it back during the MX-18 and late in the Antics 17 series. But we thought we'd show it off for you here now. It is the live USB rescue boot system. Let me fire open my Antics 19 live USB. Now, as you may have recalled from before, we made we in the last video we set up this system with a live USB with persistence so that we can run, uh, we can store files using a regular, regular computer. And you see I now have a custom entry on here that has all my options that we used. It's not really my focus right now though. My focus right now is, because what you don't know, is that this virtual machine that this live USB system is plugged into has another installation on it. It has an MX Linux uh, installation on it with a deliberately, um, shall we say, neutered Grub system. Actually, Grub's, there's nothing wrong with Grub. It's just that this system, for whatever reason, quote unquote, is not booting from it. But we can use the Antics Live USB, and remember, the MX Live USB has the same features. We can use the USB to to do a boot the installed system. So I have here the switch to Grub boot letter. Most of the options here in this menu uh, pertain to booting the Live USB. But if we switch the Grub boot loader system, we're going to get a few more options. I'm going to switch to that. And now we get something that looks a little more like the usual Grub uh, menu that things has. But we have some new options. We can still boot the live USB. And we can still boot the customization with text features. And we can still boot. Uh, we can go back to the old boot menus that we had before. And we have an advanced menu where you get the fail safe and the power off and all that stuff. And escape goes back. But we have this new option here. Res boot rescue menus. Now... If you boot uh, either Antics or MX with UEFI, this is kind of what you're going to get out of the box. And the boot rescue menus are on the top level menu, so you don't have to do any fussing around to get to it. But the boot rescue menus give you a bunch of options for booting installed Linux systems, and actually Windows too, uh, if need be. Uh, if... If for whatever reason their boot, the booting system has been disabled or the BIOS has lost its configuration but the, all the files are still there, you can you can boot from this. So you can use this to find find the grub bootloaders that are on the system. And you can see that it's only found one. It's found the Andix Live USB bootloader. That's the only system that's set up with the bootloader correctly on the system right now. So I'm going to go back one. Now... I know that my MX system has a grub menu. This thing is going to search for the grub menus. And you can see I've got the Antix UEFI. That's on the USB stick that I've got here. The Antix Live USB, that's also the USB stick. And then also HD1 GPT2 root MX19. That I know is my MX19 uh, installation. Again, I said it's deliberately, it's a neutered installation, but it's here. So enter. And now you can see that you can choose one of these options to boot from. What? I can boot an installed Linux from my live USB? Yup. And there's the usual installed MX bootloader. That's awesome. Now I have used this feature so many times. Uh, in the last little bit, uh, debugging uh, things, booting up stuff that wouldn't boot for whatever reason. Uh, this kind of is is a great option to have when you're in trouble. It's a rescue, uh, and it's really really handy. So what will it find? It will find grub menus. It will find bootloaders. It will find if you boot UEFI, it will find EFI stubs and give you an option to do that. In fact, let me close this. And we'll boot up the MX version that's UEFI, and I'll kind of show you, because that one... I'll remember. I think I set it up. There's another installation in this one, too, but we'll see. I don't remember for sure. But I will show you the EFI search. So we have this 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 this, this virtual machine boots UEFI. So as you can see the boot rescue menus are on the top level. And see now if we boot UEFI, we get the extra option to actually look for EFI bootloaders. Um, rebooting into the BIOS UEFI setup 
haven't played this one too much. It should take you into your system's setup utility. Uh, that particular option is a little flaky in VirtualBox, so don't, I'm not going to worry with that one. But EFI bootloaders, it should search for EFI bootloaders. Let's see what it finds. I actually don't know what's on here. Um, actually, it did. HD1 GPT-2 is the an HD, HD1 GPT-1. Um, actually, those are the live... That's, that, in this situation, this is both the live USB for... It'll just boot the live USB back over again. Um, but if there was an installed UFI system, it will find them. It scans the ESPs and will look for the bootloaders. I've actually booted a Ubuntu system that way, where for uh, where the uh, the the EFI stub had become had had I don't know something happened, and I was able to boot that from this system. So that's the Live USB Rescue System, the Annex Live USB Rescue System. We sometimes call this the Felix Rescue System because he's kind of the, uh, uh, it's kind of his brainchild. And well, Felix, one of the, uh, well, he's been around for a while, but he's one of the newer developers for MX and, and, and Antix. And uh, he's making huge contributions, including the Rescue System. For tips, tricks, how-tos, head over to mxlinux.org or antixlinux.com. This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great day. What? Yup. <laughs>